Neo Radial Technology NRT. So this is the original uh, cutaway. So what they did was, uh, let me look at this thing real quick. Uh, okay, so this is the bobbin. This Actually, no, this should be the coil uh, if it's underhung. <clears throat> so, and then here's the Neo, very thin piece. And then here's the connective steel that goes down, connects the circuit and comes up as the pole in between. So <clears throat> a couple of downsides, then there's other cutaway versions of this you can see. It's very, very tall looking driver to, to make it seem like it's more powerful than it is and it's, it's not. And then, um, uh, like I said in the other video, uh, putting the Neo right there puts it right smack dab in the face of uh, the coil. And if you're clipping it all, then your coil is going to get fucking hot. And then it degausses your... Uh, once again, usually a voice coil doesn't start failing until about, actually about 800 degrees, 600 degrees. And by that time, it can, it can expose all this and get really, really warm. So um, I did a little bit of Googling. Um, Mattisound still hosts the uh, page, the white paper for the NRT, which of course there's no diagrams in it, which is kind of lame. But it's meant to talk about NRT in general. And it's like, okay, good. Um, not that it really matters. Uh, let's see. What else do I have? Oh, that's Cicada. <coughs> that's Larry's project. Larry, uh, Larry F. Larry Frederick. So, let's see. I was looking up uh, DD. This is their Z motor. And you can go through the couple of evolutions of it. This is probably the beefiest version. Again, it's not a great motor design. Um... <coughs> Uh, I would rather go, ugh, somebody's calling, but uh, I would rather go through um, Phi, somebody like that, so Z motor design. Oh, this was great too when I looked this up. <clears throat> I thought that said power turd, so I was like, oh, somebody calls these a turd as well. Nope, that's power tuned. So, and that's the, 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 the version three or whatever, 13 lens grade, whatever the fuck that means, 52, uh, Neo grade 52 motor design. And then what they did was uh, they, they engraved the outside. Uh, <coughs> sorry, I just had some almonds. I still got the skins in my throat. So that's all they did was they put the little Z or DD or whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, it's a little better view. Again, n nothing magical. And then they put it on their... their I was going to say gay ass, but it's not gay. It's kind of plain. Uh, but that's a cast frame. That's their tooling. I would have hoped they would have made this a little fancier, but I mean, because you got you to pay like 40 grand for that shit. You, you know, might as well get your money's worth, but guess not. So, and then here's EMF. That guy, this guy, just a regular dude. Nothing special. It's just sells overpriced shit. Um, <clears throat> we got these coaxials as well. We do them for uh, 165 shipped for a pair, and they come with a three-year warranty. Not so much with his, but all he did was mark everything up and then marks it down. So um, here's the band hammer, which I figured out was, uh, this is a cool frame and everything, but of course it's open tool. It's not his. Um, but um, the band hammer is basically the uh, Soundcube HDC4. So it's, the, it's like a really beefy four-inch four, uh, four motor. So, nothing special about it. The low baller is the uh, Sundown SA series. Nothing special about that. It uses a two and a half inch coil. And then of course, ooh, look at that. That amplifier sure looks familiar. Uh, me and fucking Oscar, uh, Mr. Music Man. So, uh, let's see, 5,000 watt, 5,500 watt. Let's see, we'll, we'll go with the 4,000 watt. He's got it for 875. Does it have a three year warranty? Nope. Uh, I'm selling basically the same amplifier which actually does 5,400 watts, and we're doing it for 600 shipped, so, and with a three-year warranty. So some of you, I guess you, some of you guys didn't like the low prices. They're like, no, I wanna pay more. And I'm like, okay, you'll pay more, but you'll get a three-year warranty. So, and then I, was, I think I was doing some research on SCAR and some other bullshit, so. But uh, <clears throat> here is the detailed video. This is it. Isn't that pretty? Um, the, the design is modular and that is to help keep costs down, right? To make a little block like this is super cheap. 
So, and see, they didn't even like indent. Or no, they did do an indent. Aw, that was nice. So uh, on the fee, uh, was it field analysis or whatever software, you get a little bit extra when you put that little divot in there. Uh, it also is good for holding it in place. Um, but uh, yeah, it's all just bolted together. You don't need a bottom plate this thick, but you know, congrats. And then uh, what's funny is um, they could. This is the adapter plate, and so this bolts into that, and then this gives you your bolt pattern, which is 160 millimeter. They could have gone with something that comes in a little bit closer, but um, they then you make this uh, out of aluminum so that it doesn't uh, create a short in the gap. And so, um, but they didn't, so you have to use uh, a wide mouth frame on this fucker. So, and as you can see, it's actually pretty weak as far as um, <clears throat> neo grade. There you go. See, that's a short circuit, but you can still pull it off pretty easy. So it's just kind of annoying. There you go. You line that up, you put the bolts in, and then uh, the rest of your ship bolts in there. So, but of course, if you use our system, uh, which is really just a trip to the machine shop, um, you can use the TI frame on this and it works great. So it's a little short, uh, especially for a long coil, and you can run this overhung or underhung, it doesn't really matter. Um, the guy that uh, basically he donated this to us was out of Tucson, and this is the Lord of Base version. You'll notice on the yellow version, um, it's engraved on the outside, so not that that means anything, but um, that's basically it. So this is the face of this is the positive, and then this is the negative. So it's just it's that's why it's called neo radial. So it's neo radial. It's a radial field instead of vertical like you normally see with the pancake design, where this would be the uh, neo and then negative and positive. So now again, not that it makes anything special. Um, I'm sure it's very powerful, but you have to use it within parameter and you can't abuse it. Otherwise it's a, it's a fucking brick. It's a piece of shit. So, but, um, I will sell this one. I'm sure somebody will love it. And even if I bad mouth the, the crap out of it, uh, somebody will still want it. So that's fine. Congrats. If you want it, hit me up. Uh, I'll sell it to you. And, uh, if you want me to build it out, I'll build it out and we'll do something fancy pants for you. So, but I will love you guys. I will talk to you later. Um, I'm gonna do the Berserk video later today, and then also I'm gonna compare it to the um, recoil tweeters, which I found out uh, Larry's got a bunch of them, and he's selling them for only 20 bucks shipped. You cannot beat that fucking deal. That's a Silk Dome one inch tweeter, Neo, with crossover for only $20 shipped. So check that out, I'll put the link in the description. Talk to you later.